Well, the first thing would be sometimes we're looking at a number of interventions, for example, to a patient or to an organization. So I think the first thing to do is break down whether it's multi-level, because <clears throat> some changes, I mean, the, the received wisdom these days is that you're more likely to get a change to happen if you intervene at like regional level, at uh, organizational level and at team level and do different interventions. And the higher levels create the conditions that make it possible for others. Now, this is all very abstract. So let me just say, uh, you can try and get a change to happen, but if you don't change the financing, then the way people are paid may work against the evalu uh, intervention. So often you try and change the financing or the other incentives at a higher level and then create conditions where it's easier for people to adopt the new behaviors. So if one type of multi-component uh, intervention is a multi-level intervention like that, and you use one set of methods to evaluate that. Uh, the, uh, uh, another type would be, okay, well, it's a multi-component intervention to a patient. So the patient gets care management, they get medications, they get uh, education, and that's all at one level and then you would use different methods to evaluate that. Again, there are two levels here. One is the design of the evaluation, which is the time period and whether you have controlled trials. The other aspect is which data you gather to try and capture data about outcomes. Um, and you would use different designs and different data to evaluate the effects of interventions at different levels.